Hi, thanks for joining me on a virtual tour of 955 Parson Drive. If you saw the other video from about 10 years ago, this is updated for February 2024. My wife and I did live here for 12 years from 1993 through 2005. And it's one of the reasons why I really like to try to share as much about the house as possible so that uh, you're realistic and happy and don't want to move out immediately a year later. So uh, I've got uh, a lot of experience with the house. We recently replaced the carpet with vinyl flooring, which is very nice. And it's the planks, so it's not just vinyl floor, but uh, vinyl planks, very, very nice. But the reality is it does show dirt a lot more so than carpet. Carpet just absorbs the dirt. So it's easy to clean, but it also attracts the dirt along the edge. A lot of good visibility in the front door, uh, front uh, living room area. I think we had the TV on both sides of the wall at different times. All of the rooms have fans. There are two entrances into the dining and kitchen area. And because of the two, we actually decided against taking down this wall right here. So we'll go ahead and go into the kitchen. The original knotty pine is, uh, is still in place here. The microwave is new, however, the stove and refrigerator are both pretty old. But they both function and uh, certainly suitable. In fact, I looked at replacing the stove and went to uh, Best Buy and it's exactly the same stove. So uh, the door had uh, broken, so I repaired it. There is no dishwasher. I was the dishwasher. And even in our current house, I'm the dishwasher. The sink is the old porcelain style. It's easy to clean, but it also gets dirty easily. There is a good new modern LED lighting over the sink area and also the stove area. And once upon a time, there used to be a butcher's block down below where the pots would hang. I'm not sure that's been used in recent years, but it's possible. It's great visibility to the backyard, which we'll go back there in just a little bit. The bedroom is a three bedroom, one bath, one car garage with a carport. Here's the exit or second entrance into the kitchen area. There are three closets in the uh, hallway. That was for food right there. We actually did have a phone here. The house is wired for two lines, but that's not very realistic anymore. So there are several electronic amenities, including motion sensor lights, LED lights, and the programmable thermostat controller that allows you to control the air and have it turn down the temperature before you arrive home. This is the master bedroom. Great visibility outside the house. And I'll introduce you to the neighbors here in just a little bit. Most of them were here before I moved in in 1993. So this uh, two of the bedrooms have two closets and one of them has a little larger closet. One frustrating thing about the closet doors is their bypass, and even though I've replaced the tracks, they can be a little frustrating. I tend to get them fixed, and I've replaced them a number of times, but uh, they do take a little bit of gingerly attention. This one we used as the computer room. Again, two closets. Great afternoon sunlight and great views outside into the backyard, which was our favorite part. Two large mirrors into the uh, getting ready area. One of the nice things about this house relative to some of the other houses in the area is that the 
uh, sink area could have had room for another sink. We always felt like this was an advantage that allowed us to tolerate this house for 12 years. Most of the sinks in this area end with just the sink and the toilet for the bathroom. And this one came right on out. There is natural gas in the house. This heater does still work. The washer dryer allows for either gas or electric. The last tenant was taller than average. So I had uh, hooked him up a taller Trying to get around over here to the closet. The medicine cabinet, lead lighting. Two closets, lots of storage. When we moved into the house, there was a attic fan. So we've replaced it uh, with the air conditioning and also a disappearing stairwell. So that's the access to the attic. But it, uh, when we first moved in in 1993, that was an attic fan. Here is the front bedroom. Great views out to the front of the house. Large windows. All of the rooms have blinds. Some of the blinds could be in better condition, but they all work. Extra long closet. This one only has one closet. So we'll quit, take a quick tour into the backyard and out through the garage. One of our favorite aspects was the backyard. Because of the location, it, particularly up against the ditch, it drew in a lot of wildlife. And particularly because we don't have two or three immediate backyard neighbors. We have one to the left and to the right. But it also has an extra easement, which we don't officially own, but we treated it as ours. Had a horseshoe pit back there at one point, cleaned it up. Brand new air conditioner. Deck has been recently replaced, but was also one of our favorite aspects. Just looking at the garage side of the house. There are multiple motion sensor lights. That one's electric and that one is solar right there. There's been a few dish satellites in the house. Garage is a little bit larger than normal to allow for the utilities. That was one downside for my wife. She did not like the washer and dryer outside, so just want to let you know about that. Does have the electric or gas hookup for the dryer, so your choice.
This was a workbench area. The carport. Gas water heater. There's an access panel to enter through the garage if you don't have your remote. Good LED electric motion light. LED solar light. So we'll take a quick look at uh, the neighborhood. Uh, if you know anything about the area, you know that Callaway, Sally, Peyton, and Parson are all nestled into the west end of town along among much larger and much nicer homes. Beautiful camellia blooming there. The azaleas, 50 year old azaleas got knocked down pretty hard this last year. They should grow back. The family immediately to the right has been there for a couple of years. Two doors down, they just bought the house uh, maybe about a year ago. Just met them a few days ago. Lawyer across the street has been there for more than 20 years. Kenny has been there for more than 30 years. It's a very quiet street. Now, Peyton is very busy. And Parson does have a C that actually has an opening on both ends. So it is a bit of a thoroughfare. People do come around this curve. And I don't recommend people parking on the street. So I tend to advise against it. Just watch somebody fly by a little earlier. So that is something to keep in mind. This tree was knocked down during the ice storm in the 90s crazily. It's grown back and it does shade the house so it does keep the utilities down it's a little bit of afternoon sun but i hope you've enjoyed the tour let me know if you have any questions and if you're still interested fill out the pre-qualification application and we'll go from there thank you